Hi, it's Ashley here with 15 Hats, and in this video, we are gonna be talking about 2021 goals, or just goal setting in general, which is in January, you know, like all the rage of the topics. But we're gonna discuss how to set the goals to effectively execute them throughout the year. Okay, so the first step is to figure out like what are your goals that you want to hit by the end of the year. This part is going to be so basic and if you're watching this, you probably already know this information. So you're going to pick what it, your goal is for the end of the year and then you're going to break it up by 12. So for each month. So say your goal is to earn $120,000 by the end of the year, then you obviously need to be earning $10,000 each month. So that's going to be step one. But what I find that a lot of people do in my business and other businesses is that once they have that, they're like, okay, great. I need to earn $10,000 every month. Yeah, okay, great. So what's the next step? What are you taking to get to that $10,000? Are you um, posting more on social media? Do you need to learn a new skill? Do you need to learn more about blogging or SEO? Or do you need to run Facebook ads? Like what are you doing each month to get to that $10,000? And if you're already earning $10,000 a month, up your goal because that's the other thing is that a lot of people play so small with their goals and they don't ever push themselves. And if you're not pushing yourself, then what, why are you even setting a goal? <laughs> There's really no point. So those are my first two tips right out the gate. I'm going to a little bit later in this video show you um, my crazy, if you are familiar with the DISC personality styles, uh, my C is very up there, my compliance oriented. I guess that's probably why I was a decent CPA. Um, so I will share you my, with you my Excel spreadsheet on how I track some of these goals, but it might alarm some of you. So we're just going to do that a little bit later. But those are the first two tips that I would say for setting a goal. And my third tip is that you want to have some way that you're actually tracking this and that you're looking at it throughout the year. Because another thing that I'm finding in my business with a lot of my colleagues is that they plan out these goals. They may or may not have set those um, actionable steps that I already talked about, how they're gonna get there. And then they don't, they just don't look at it throughout the year. So that's not gonna help you if you're not tracking and monitoring and looking at your goals throughout the year to see where am I, am I on track? Where do I need to tweak something? Is it getting me to where I wanna be at the end of the year? They tend to wait till the end of the year and then they're like, oh, well, I can't earn $120,000 this year because you know I only did 5,000 a month. I never looked at the goal again. So you wanna make sure you have some way of tracking that, whether that's an Excel spreadsheet, whether that's really pretty pictures on the wall that you color in, like a thermometer or something as you're getting there. Whatever works best for you, Obviously Excel spreadsheets are my way to go, but whatever works best for you, you're gonna have to figure that out, but you're gonna want to be looking at it throughout the year and analyzing your progress. Same thing like if you said, I'm gonna lose 12 pounds this year. So that's only one pound a month, right? So what are you getting doing to get to lose that one pound, right? What are you changing your food? Are you exercising more? Maybe you start in January and you exercise 10 minutes a day. And then in February, you exercise 15 minutes a day. What is it that you're doing to get there? And then how are you tracking it? Are you marking on your calendar little X's saying, okay, I did that each day. So it really doesn't matter what the goal is. All of this applies. And I just really hope that you hit your goals, especially for 2021 after the doozy of a year of 2020 that we had and we all kind of had to readjust, especially if you're a business owner watching this, um, we've all had to readjust how we do things. So for 2021, we can make it our best year yet and it's going to come down to what is the goal, breaking it down by month, and then having those actionable steps that are going to actually get you to that goal and then monitoring it throughout the year so that you can tweak it and adjust as needed if you're falling behind that you can catch up. So let me show you how I track it. And if this alarms you, I'm really sorry. But again, I am a compliance like C type person in the disc personality and I just love Excel. So I'm gonna show you. All right, so let's hop into this Excel spreadsheet. Remember, this is gonna be a lot for a lot of you. Um, this is something that you are gonna tailor to your business and what works best for you. And then even if you're in my same business, what works for you for tracking your information. I like to track like literally everything. So in this Excel spreadsheet, 
I start off with my estimated sales, other revenue that I'm going to be earning, and kind of like a P&L, so like a basic P&L of what I think my sales and whatnot is going to be and what my expenses are going to be for the year. So this year I'm following a new method from the book Profit First and I'm actually going to be paying myself a salary and um, just kind of making this a little bit more official than it has been in past years. So I have all of this and I've deleted my particular numbers out of this. I've just kind of left a few expenses in here just to show you guys. Uh, if you need help setting up an Excel spreadsheet, like I said, you can leave it in the comments and I can give you some tips and tricks because I love Excel, I'm a nerd. But in here, it kind of is gonna auto calculate a lot of these numbers for me, but it's going to show me what I'm estimating my sales to be. So this is the first step that I'm doing. What I'm, and how I do this is I take what my sales were from the previous two, three, however many years you've been in business or whatever the data is you wanna look at. Maybe you're just starting out. So. I, I think about what are the seasons that are particularly more like Christmas in my, I'm in retail, right? So Christmas time, um, Black Friday is gonna be when we have the heaviest sales. So that's where I'm gonna focus a lot of my numbers on. So I fill in all this data and it kind of gives me an idea of what I'm thinking my income will be at the end of the year. So from here, I then took it a step further and if you, I scroll down, you'll see I'm obviously in direct sales. So these are some of the things that I'm thinking I'm gonna be doing throughout the year. So I have a uh, product campaign. So during a particular month, these are products that I'm gonna be focusing on. So in January, we focused on shadows and talking about eye makeup and your eyes and everything to do with eyes, uh, different methods of applying, uh, differences in our products, the glitter shimmers mats and all of that. So we kind of have an idea, when I say we, my husband and I, cause he does a lot of this with me, um, have an idea of what the plan is throughout the year. Then I also have, okay, is there something that I'm doing? Do I have a sale that I'm gonna be running during a certain month? Do I have promos that are gonna be happening? All of that I kind of have filled in. I have towards the end of the year kind of free spots because I'm not really sure what I'm wanting to do just yet. Um, and it will depend on what the company has going on as well. So we have that. But then I take it a step further than that and I say, okay, so I know what my sales numbers that I want to hit each month are. So what is it that I need to learn during the month? And what is it that I need to execute during the month? So I know I need to learn more about SEO and Pinterest this year. So those are the first two I'm tackling at the beginning of the year. Eventually I'll need to get to Facebook ads and different things like that. But what I'm having one main focus during the month, what is that going to be? Because let's be honest, as business owners, you have a million things that you're trying to accomplish. You are literally everything in every position. So to say, this is where I'm guilty of the past, to say I'm gonna do all these things, like 30,000 different things, and then nothing gets done because you're completely overwhelmed. So I have one main focus and one thing I'm executing. And usually the thing I'm learning in this month is what I'm gonna execute in the, pre in the next month. So. I have that, I have books that I wanna read uh, just to help with mindset because personal development or whether it's uh, social media related or whatnot. So I literally have all of that tracked in here. And then I have kind of like a follower count, which you can't really control, but just an idea of where I wanna be um, as far as social media goes by the end of the year. Okay, so in here, this is, very specific to my particular company, um, but depending on your goals, you can set up something very similar to this. So this is where something that I look out day in and day out. Like I log into this either in the morning or at night and I check where I'm at with my numbers. You don't have to be that crazy, but um, I entered in, and these are fake numbers, but I entered in sales numbers for each month. And then I have a 10% increase. Like that is my line in the sand. No matter what, this is the goal I expect to hit during that month. So I kind of broke it out, um, not kind of, I broke it out 
evenly throughout the year. So I know based on this sales number that I had say in a previous year, previous year that that number divided by 12 out evenly is this 2700 so I would expect that each month I would sell $2,700 so then I have this actual column which is where I'm entering my sales as I go this is something you can probably see if you're using um, specific software I pull it directly from my square reports if you haven't seen those videos I have a video on square reporting so I pull my square reporting numbers and I plug them in here then it's telling me the difference between my line in the sand goal and where I'm actually at if I haven't hit it it stays red if I've hit it then it turns green so it's just a nice visual way for me to see on a day in and day out basis like I said where I'm at. 30% increase is where I would love to be. These numbers are not currently calculating properly. Okay, so then I have this other column over here because I have my 10%, that's like my line in the sand goal, and then I have a 30% column, which is where I would ideally like to be. I would like to be increasing by 30% each month. Obviously, some months that's probably gonna be tougher. So again, I have this divided out by 12, and it turns green as I am going through and hitting those goals. So I'm not sure if this, I did, change the calculation very quickly so um if it's not calculating properly just know that that is what it does in my real spreadsheet that doesn't have fake numbers and you can kind of see i also have over here another column that is just a 10 percent increase month over month so there are a thousand different ways that you can calculate this. My spreadsheet has evolved over time for what works best for me or as I'm helping team members, what's working for them when they're visualizing their goals. So whatever it is, you can make Excel do it, but it's fun to see the cell turn from red to green once you hit that goal. And then I just have down here, these again are completely specific to my business uh, and my company, but it's tracking. So we earn trips and the two trips that we had recently were Hawaii and um, Hawaii and Bora Bora. So this tracks that. And then we have other incentive programs as well that are in there. So I literally have this all tracked and I monitor my progress throughout the month so I can readjust as needed. All right, so if you're still with me at this point, hopefully my Excel spreadsheet did not scare you too much. Again, you can tailor that to be however is works best for you for tracking your own goals. If you need any help, leave them in the comments below. I would love to help you. I cannot wait to see us all hit our goals for 2021 and also share one of your goals below in the comments and we can hold each other accountable. And if you have any questions, again, leave them below and I will see you in the next video. My first goal of 2021 is to get this baby out of my tummy. Let's go.